while the world's biggest car companies were stuck updating their old engines and polishing the same tire designs, Tesla was building something in complete silence. No press releases. No leaks. Just whispers that Elon Musk was working on a technology so advanced, it could rewrite everything we know about electric vehicles. And then, out of nowhere, it happened. A motor so powerful, so efficient, and so precise that engineers are calling it the next leap of evolution. This isn't just a faster car. It's a machine that bends the rules of physics, shatters old limits, and exposes just how far ahead Tesla really is. But how did Musk pull this off? What's inside this mysterious new motor that's leaving billion-dollar automakers in shock? And most importantly, is this the moment Tesla ends the competition for good? It all started in a place few people even knew existed, a quiet research facility just outside Austin, Texas. While the world thought Tesla was focused on rolling out more Model YS and Cybertrucks, behind those locked doors, a small team of engineers was working on something completely different. Something that Elon Musk himself called the key to the next decade. They called it Project Redwood. To outsiders, that name meant nothing. But inside Tesla, it was the codename for an experiment that would push electric technology years ahead of anything on the market. The goal wasn't just to make a faster car, it was to create a motor so efficient that it could redefine what range and performance even meant. According to leaks from former engineers, Redwood began as a late-night idea Musk scribbled on a whiteboard. He challenged his team to build a drive unit that could deliver more power with less energy loss, something no automaker had ever managed at scale. What followed was two years of quiet obsession. Engineers tested materials that had never been used in EVs, experimented with new magnet designs, and even developed cooling systems that made older motors look prehistoric. Every few months, Musk would drop an unannounced, walking the lab floor with that trademark silence before asking one simple question. Can this beat physics? At the time, no one outside Tesla even knew the project existed. But insiders claimed that by early 2025, the team had done it, they'd built a prototype that stunned even Musk himself. And the craziest part? That motor wasn't meant for the Roadster or the Cybertruck. It was being designed for something even more ambitious, a vehicle that could make gas cars completely obsolete. But to understand just how groundbreaking this was, you have to know what made it different from every motor before it. And that's where the Rayall story begins. Most people think every electric motor works the same, spin magnets, push current, create motion. But what Tesla built inside Project Redwood was something entirely different. It wasn't just a better motor, it was an intelligent one. According to multiple insiders, the new drive unit uses a solid-state magnetic system, a technology that until now only existed in experimental labs. Traditional EV motors lose energy as heat, friction, resistance, wasted motion. But this one? It recycles nearly everything. Every pulse of energy is redirected, stored, and reused. The result? Almost zero energy loss. That means faster acceleration, longer range, and far less heat, all with a smaller, lighter motor. Engineers who saw the prototype described it as alien tech, claiming it could outperform entire drive systems twice its size. But Tesla didn't stop there. The company also built an adaptive control AI right into the motor's core. Instead of relying on fixed programming, it learns the driver's habits in real time, adjusting torque, braking, and acceleration patterns automatically. In other words, the car doesn't just move, it thinks. One engineer compared it to a living organism, constantly optimizing itself to deliver maximum power with minimum effort. The system runs millions of micro-adjustments every second, calculating where energy is needed most. And the wildest part? This wasn't even the final version. Rumors suggest Musk's team had already begun testing a self-healing variant, a motor that could diagnose wear and automatically reroute power to protect failing components. If true, that would make Tesla's motor not just efficient, but practically immortal. But why would Musk invest so much time, money, and secrecy into one piece of technology? Because this wasn't just about building a better motor. It was about building a future no one else could catch up to. And that's exactly where things started to get interesting, when competitors realized what Tesla was really up to. At first, the whispers didn't seem real. A few engineers from Germany claimed Tesla was testing a new motor that defied efficiency limits. A Japanese supplier said they'd been cut off from a mysterious parts order without explanation. By the time executives at BMW, Toyota and Volkswagen caught on, it was already too late. Tesla had something none of them could replicate. Behind closed doors, the mood turned from confidence to quiet panic. Reports say that by mid-2025, several major automakers held emergency meetings after early data from Redwood's prototype leaked online. The numbers didn't make sense. Acceleration beyond known benchmarks, range that shattered current battery limits, 
and cooling systems operating at near zero heat waste. If those specs were real, Tesla wasn't just ahead, they were untouchable. One executive allegedly said in frustration, if this thing is real, we might as well stop making engines right now. And while Tesla stayed silent, the market spoke loud enough. Within weeks, EV startup stocks dropped. Legacy automakers began fast-tracking their research divisions. Even China's BYD, Tesla's most aggressive rival, reportedly redirected funding into magnet development after learning what Redwood was doing. But Elon Musk as always said nothing. No tweets. No interviews. No product reveals. Just a quiet post on X that read, Energy is the final frontier. That single post sent analysts into chaos. Was he hinting at a new energy platform? A full self-sustaining vehicle? Or something entirely different? What no one realized was that Tesla's motor wasn't just designed for cars. It was designed for everything, from home energy systems to AI-powered robotics. And once that became clear, the panic turned into something else entirely, fear. Because if Tesla could scale this technology, it wouldn't just dominate the EV market. It would own the energy industry itself. But to pull that off, Musk needed one more thing. Something even more powerful than the motor itself. Every revolutionary motor needs an equally powerful energy source, and that's where Tesla's real secret hid in plain sight. While the world focused on flashy car launches and Cybertruck memes, Musk's engineers were quietly rewriting the rules of energy storage. Insiders now believe Project Redwood's real breakthrough wasn't just the motor, it was what powered it, a new hybrid cell technology that combined the speed of lithium-ion with the endurance of solid-state batteries. Tesla had been teasing this for years, the 4680 cell was only the beginning. But in 2025, something changed. Engineers reportedly developed a next-gen version nicknamed Phoenix Cells. These weren't ordinary batteries. Each cell used a graphene-based separator and a nano-layered electrolyte that allowed near-instant charge cycles and almost no degradation over time. Translation? A Tesla that could charge to 80% in under 5 minutes and last for decades. One former lab technician described seeing it in action. We thought the test equipment was broken. The charge rate looked impossible. But the readings were real. These cells weren't just faster, they were smarter. Each one contained a microcontroller that communicated directly with the vehicle's onboard AI, predicting energy demands before they even occurred. The result was a system that wasted almost nothing. And because the new motor was so efficient, Tesla didn't need massive battery packs anymore. That alone meant lighter vehicles, lower costs, and potentially a new generation of affordable Teslas that could crush every competitor's price point. But Musk wasn't planning to keep this technology inside cars forever. Leaks suggest Tesla's energy division was already testing Phoenix cells inside home power units and industrial storage grids. The goal? To make fossil fuel infrastructure irrelevant, not in 30 years but now. Still, Musk knew that a discovery this powerful wouldn't stay secret for long. And when governments began asking questions, the project's existence suddenly became a global issue. That's when everything started to spiral, and the fight for control over Tesla's new technology began. As word of Tesla's new motor and Phoenix cells spread through industry insiders, the world started to wake up. But Tesla wasn't just up against automakers anymore. Governments, energy conglomerates, and even tech giants began circling. Everyone wanted a piece of the technology that promised to redefine energy, transportation, and power itself. In Europe, Automakers like Volkswagen and BMW ramped up research programs, trying to reverse-engineer Tesla's carbon-wrapped rotor and next-gen batteries. In the US, lobbying groups pushed Congress to monitor Tesla's innovations closely, worried about a single company gaining too much control over critical energy infrastructure. Meanwhile, China's BYD accelerated production of its own high-capacity EVs, introducing aggressive pricing to maintain market dominance, but even they couldn't match Tesla's efficiency edge. Analysts say this marked a turning point in the EV industry. Tesla wasn't just competing for cars anymore, it was competing for influence over the future of global energy. Every gigafactory Elon built, every new battery prototype, every software update became a chess move in a game that spanned continents. And yet, Musk remained unpredictable. He continued to release hints, teasing innovations without revealing the full picture. Every Tesla vehicle on the road became a data collecting node, feeding AI insights back to the company. The more Teslas drove, the smarter the fleet became, turning what once was a car into a living, learning network of intelligence. This global race forced competitors into impossible decisions. Should they invest billions trying to catch up technologically? Or should they pivot to entirely new strategies to survive? While others hesitated, Tesla moved faster.
The combination of advanced motor, revolutionary battery, and self-learning AI wasn't just a product, it was a platform. And platforms scale in ways no single competitor can hope to match. By now it was clear, Tesla wasn't just leading the EV race. It was reshaping the entire industry, and anyone who didn't adapt quickly risked being left behind. But Tesla's ambitions didn't stop with cars, batteries or factories. The next leap would change how the world thought about energy entirely. Tesla's vision has never been limited to just cars. While competitors were still obsessing over acceleration and range, Musk was quietly connecting the pieces of a much bigger puzzle, an entire energy ecosystem. It starts at home. Solar roofs and power walls aren't just products, they're pieces of a self-sustaining energy network. Tesla homes can generate, store, and use electricity without touching the grid. And every new battery, every solar panel, every electric car feeds data back into Tesla's system, creating a constantly learning, adaptive network. On the streets, every Tesla car becomes more than a vehicle, it's a mobile data center. Cameras, sensors, and AI algorithms track road conditions, driver behavior, and energy efficiency, sending insights directly to Tesla's central systems. The fleet learns together, improving performance, safety, and battery management in real time. Even the factories are part of the ecosystem. Gigafactories in Shanghai, Berlin, Austin, and soon India don't just assemble vehicles. They produce motors, batteries, and software in-house, reducing reliance on suppliers and allowing Tesla to scale faster than anyone else. Robotic automation, 3D casting, and AI-driven production make cars cheaper, faster, and higher quality, a level of efficiency that leaves competitors scrambling. And this ecosystem doesn't stop at vehicles or homes. Musk's ambition stretches to energy grids, autonomous freight, and urban mobility solutions. Imagine fleets of Tesla's powering cities, storing solar energy, and even charging themselves during operation. Every innovation reinforces the others, creating a loop of efficiency, intelligence, and dominance. Competitors can make cars. Some can make batteries. Few can combine the two. Tesla has built a platform where energy, AI, and transportation all work together, and it's this interconnected system that positions the company not just as a car manufacturer, but as a global energy and tech powerhouse. Yet, while Tesla builds this empire, the real question remains, who will control the EV market in 2025, and what does it mean for the future of transportation? By 2025, the EV market had transformed into a global battlefield. On one side, Tesla, the innovator, the platform builder, the company rewriting the rules. On the other, BYD, the volume king, dominating sales with affordable models and an iron grip on China's domestic market. Musk has a unique ability to connect emotionally with consumers. A Tesla isn't just a car, it's a symbol of innovation, sustainability and forward thinking, all tied to Musk's persona. Every product launch, tweet or technological breakthrough becomes a global event, giving Tesla free publicity and influencing investor confidence, customer interest, and even competitor strategy. Beyond the spotlight, Musk drives strategic decisions that shape the industry. From committing to fully electric platforms when others hesitated, to pushing automation and vertical integration, his vision ensures Tesla isn't just following trends, it's creating them. The combination of leadership, personal branding, and ambitious goals makes Tesla more than a car company, it's a cultural and technological phenomenon. Competitors may have resources or market share, but they lack the charisma, vision, and global attention that Musk brings. This human factor amplifies Tesla's influence, making the company a leader not just in EVs, but in the broader conversation about technology, energy, and the future of transportation. Next, we'll examine the future of EVs and who might lead the next decade in this rapidly evolving market. The EV landscape in 2025 is dynamic, but the question remains, who will dominate the next decade? Tesla and BYD are the clear frontrunners, each following a distinct strategy. BYD excels in volume and affordability, capturing large markets quickly, especially in developing countries. Tesla, meanwhile, focuses on technology, software, and ecosystem integration, aiming for long-term dominance through innovation and global reach. Tesla's next-generation motor, Phoenix Cells, and AI-driven FSD give it an edge in performance, efficiency, and self-driving capability. The Model 2 will allow Tesla to challenge BYD in the mass market, potentially reshaping the global balance of power. Meanwhile, legacy automakers and newcomers like Lucid and Rivian must contend not only with technology gaps but also with Tesla's established infrastructure and global branding. The future of EVs will be determined by who can balance innovation, scalability, and affordability. Companies that fail to integrate software intelligence, energy ecosystems, and autonomous capabilities risk being left behind. Tesla's holistic approach, 
connecting vehicles, energy storage, solar production, and AI, positions it as more than a car company. It's a platform shaping transportation, energy, and mobility worldwide. By the next decade, the market may no longer measure success solely by sales figures. Instead, it will reward those who create seamless, intelligent, and sustainable systems. Tesla has already laid the foundation for this future, setting standards that competitors must chase. While BYD may lead in units today, Tesla's technological and strategic foresight could redefine who truly leads the EV world tomorrow. The race isn't just for cars, it's for the future itself, and Tesla is already far ahead of the pack. Tesla isn't simply making cars, it's reinventing the entire concept of transportation and energy. From carbon-wrapped motors and revolutionary batteries to AI-driven self-driving systems and global energy integration, every piece of Tesla's ecosystem is designed to work in harmony, creating a platform no competitor can easily replicate. While BYD and other manufacturers chase volume or affordability, Tesla's advantage lies in technology, vision, and execution. Its vehicles don't just move people, they learn, adapt, and evolve, turning every mile driven into progress for the fleet as a whole. Each gigafactory, battery innovation and software update strengthens Tesla's position, ensuring the company remains not just relevant, but ahead of the curve. Beyond sales, beyond market share, Tesla is shaping how the world thinks about mobility, energy and sustainability. It's creating a future where cars are smarter, energy is cleaner, and innovation moves faster than ever before. The real story isn't just about electric vehicles. It's about a company that saw the future, acted boldly, and continues to push the limits of what's possible. For those watching the EV revolution unfold, Tesla isn't just part of the race, it's writing the rules for everyone else to follow. And as technology, AI and energy systems evolve together, the question isn't whether Tesla will lead, but how far its vision will take the world.